we had uh, stopped or the previous video stopped when we was at uh, the heart chakra or the heart, the center shaft, right? That 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 center shaft um, um, petition, right? Um, the center shaft petition, give us this day our daily bread. So the idea of daily bread and, and the theme of bread is also very significant at the heart chakra or in heart, right? So we're going through the, the seven branches, right, of the Our Father prayer, right? Touching on the seven branches of the Our Father prayer. And we're looking at the Hebrew right here. Once again, thanks to uh, I and I, Wendem, Wendem, Ras, Ayasun, Yasun for of of uh, Rastafari Midrashim dot wordpress dot com. We thank him for his labors here. It's, it's a wonderful, beautiful one. I want to work on one also in them hard, but this is from the Hebrew, right? But we are in the English King James Bible Schofield as a basic first level, first grade in our first grade uh, study material, the King James Bible Schofield Study Bible. But we're here in Matthew chapter six and we was at verse 11. We was at the fourth petition. Let's just go over the petitions again. We have the first petition, right? Um, corresponding to Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, the first um, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six words, O our, O, well, there's no O there, but our Father, which art in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven. Abinu Sheba Shemayim, our Father who is in heaven. Right? This is what opens up the, the crown, right? The crowning chakra or what we call the crown chakra right here at the at the head, right? At the head, opening that gate for the receptivity, you know, amongst those who are diligent, watching and in prayer. And prayer is communication with the father in the name and in the authority and in the redemption and in the love, in the grace and the and the truth of the Son, of the Bain Ha Elohim, Ha Moshia Yeshua, Ha Adon, I and I Adonai, I and I Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So now this is the first petition right here. This will be that first branch. Now another interesting thing we noted already, but we want to note it again is that when the um, menorah or the lampstand is lit, it is lit from right to left. Now, of course, Hebrews read from right to left, but also the right to left orientation also is equivalent with the light coming from heaven, right? The spiritual cosmic light, you know, and it's where attention goes, energy flows, that there's, there's a principle proven scientifically, um, proven, you know, where our attention goes, their energy flows. So in recognizing what prayer is, right, and with that receptive heart and that mind, right, in the grace of our Lord and Savior, that's what magnetizes, you know, that's what, there is where the attraction, so one has that attraction and that receptivity. So our father who art in heaven is the first petition. So this will be like the first light. But notice something that the heart is still the center. Why? Because the petition here is very interesting. The petition at the heart chakra is et lechem lechem kuakenu kukenu Ten lanu hayom. In other words, give us this day our daily bread. But what's interesting is that it begins with that untranslated et, right? Or the et. And the et in the Hebrew is the Hebrew alpha and omega, the first and last letter. 
but it's also a signature. It's the signature in the Hebrew scriptures of the sun. It's the signature of the logos of the pre and the incarnate logos. Ha Adon Yeshua Ha Moshiach, our Moshienu, our Savior. You know, Moshiach, Moshiach is the Messiah, Christ, and Moshiach, Moshiach is Savior. Notice how interesting, close those words are. Okay, let's see. We have a couple more minutes here. So I just want to go through this right here just to um, show you which are the seven petitions, right? And we're along the tree of life. Right. We're along the chakras and we're along the the seven seals in man that these particular words should resonate to clean, to purify right, the gates, purify the light so that, that his light can shine completely, his light and his life. But it begins with the word and the real groundation is the is the heart. Right. And it's at the heart chakra that we receive his, or the sifra, the sifarot, right? That we receive daily bread, right? That we receive his word. And it's so very interesting because there are so many errors in the scripture where Christ gave these, these um, um, instructions, or you can even call them hints, if you please, these particular keys. So now as we move forward to the fifth, so this is, First, the second one right here. The second one would be at the third eye chakra right here. Um, Hallow be thy name or holy. Kedus is thy name. Thy kingdom come or let her come. The kingdom here is 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 feminine. It's very interesting. It says the Yit Kadesh, Shemika, Taboa, Malakuteka. Your, he possesses she. Third, third eye right here, the throat chakra, right? At the throat chakra, when thy will be done, right? Thy will be done in earth or on earth as it is in heaven. So as our, our mind is in the Christ mind, right? So don't be conformed to the world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the, and the metanoia or the repentance is having that change of mind. That's what it means to be born again from above, right? From how we are thinking and how we are receptive. So we're receptive to this in our mind, then so it is on earth, right? So the second or the third at the throat chakra, right? Yeah, ashe retsoneka. Kaba Shamayima Naashe Be'aretz. In other words, that right there would be thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Heart chakra again. Et, right? Aleph Tav, et Lechem Kuakenu Ten Lanu Hayon. Give us this day our daily bread. Now at the solar plexus, right? The solar plexus. We have the solar plexus. And there's, this is very interesting, the solar plexus. There's this long line right here. And y'all might have heard this before where it says, where it says, and give and forgive and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Forgive us, right, and forgive us, I and I, our debts, as we forgive our debtors. In the Hebrew, where salakalanu et, again the et, ashmatenu, ashmatenu, our wrongdoings, ka asher, as we, so lekime, so lekim, so lekim, as we so lekim pardon, anaknu, right, ourselves, le'esha, 
those to who Ashmu do wrong Lanu. Right? So it's very interesting at the solar plexus. And if you understand in the metaphysics and the physical resonance of these metaphysical seats, you know, the kind of connection right here is just so very interesting. I'm, I'm looking at the time. And y'all willing, brothers and sisters, be patient. We'll hopefully we'll really get into this more so. But this is just just on the inspiration to share this with the eye then, because even I too need to get more in the practical application of this. Practice makes perfect. So this would be at the solar plexus. And then we have the navel, right? What is known as the navel, the imbarat, right? The navel chakra, right? The navel chakra or where the stomach is, right? We have this invocation. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, in the very first book of Moses, the, the Bereshit, the Genesis, it speaks about the serpent crawling on its belly. So here at the belly chakra, right, wa'al, wa'al tabenu le yade mase ki em kalatenu min ha ra'a. Mean hara from the evil, because if you notice in the stomach and the belly, fear, you know, people are under certain type of stress. They maybe can't eat, you know, even though you may be hungry. But something with that stomach, the temptations in the belly, right? The belly, the belly. Now, the last but definitely not the least at this groundation right here is the last line of invocation. And the last line of invocation, invoking, invoca, invoca in voice, in word, sound, and power is, for thine is the kingdom the, and the power and the glory for either or forever. Now the seal is the Amen. But this last verse right here is, Kileka, Kileka Hamama Lakat, Weha Gebura Weha Tiferit Tiferet We Olame Olamim. Interesting. Tiferet. Tiferet is found in this, uh, in the Our Father prayer. If you know, we've taught on the Tiferet and the link with Teferi and Ras Teferi, right? So this right here is at the root chakra. Right, and use that the root chakra is the 